Hello, it's me, DV, and welcome to all things brass and technology. Mm, look at this. I got a new pedal, man. It's called The Habit by Chase Bliss. And boy, it's a delay on steroids. This pedal is going to be a hard habit to break. I'll have a video coming soon on this, but it's pretty amazing. Anyway, what I want to talk to you about today is key learning. Key learning. And this is going to be key learning episode one. You know, we must be as fluent as we can be in all 12 keys. And this is going to be an ongoing series. An ongoing uh, series <laughs> on key learning. So this is going to be the first episode. So um, let's get it. So let's get to this. So basically, as I said, this is going to be an ongoing series, but this is episode one. So basically, it's pretty simple. Just take melodies and transpose them through the keys. Now, in Western music, there are 12 tones. So there is 12 key centers, right? So we just want to take simple melodies. I mean, the first thing to do. Take a simple melody and just play it in all 12 keys. As simple as I think most people know Mary Had a Little Lamb. Mary Had a Little Lamb, Little Lamb. You know, you take a simple melody like that and just move it through all 12 keys. And just take melodies like that and move them through all 12 keys. That's pretty much it. Now, I am a jazz man. <laughs> true you dig so what i'm gonna say today is take bebop melodies take bird melodies charlie parker and they may be a little difficult to begin with so take whatever you know is comfortable for you but i'm gonna deal with you know bird take charlie parker melodies Learn it in the original key, then start to move it around. Yeah, dig. Because the way I feel about key centers, every key to me has a feel to it, has a sound to it. So you have to be harmonious with all 12 key centers. That's like, that's why when I'm composing, I like to move the keys or, okay, this tune is going to be in, well, let me see, because some of my music is moving all over the place. But I like to, you know, deal with certain keys because they resonate with the way I hear music. You dig? So that's what I pretty much do. And that's what I'm constantly working on, man. This music thing never ends. I don't care how great you become. You could always be better. Yeah, dig? This stuff is... Until your last breath, you can't conquer music, it's just too big, you know. So, what I'm always working on is just taking bebop melodies and moving them through all 12 keys. So, let me give you a quick basic example of this. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna play Charlie Parker's Scrapple from the Apple, which is in the key of F. Yes. And so that means written, it is in the key of G. What I mean by written is trumpet is a transposing instrument and it is in B flat. So that transposes one step up from concert. So if it's concert F, it's written G. If it's concert E flat, 
is written F and so forth. So Scrapple from the Apple is in concert F. And so I will be playing in written trumpet key G. Here it is. Remember, it's not about speed. You know, just start everything, just as like if we're practicing Clark's technical studies or any type of Arvin studies, we always start at a slow tempo, then increase the tempo. It's never about speed. Speed will, speed will come with practice. You know, so for these, I'm just going to do a nice medium easy tempo. All right. One last thing. I only played the A section, the first A section of this song. But of course, when you're learning these songs and transposing them through all the 12 keys, learn the song from top to bottom, the entire song, and then do your transposition. I only played the first A section to save time so this video is not a thousand hours. And the second A is just a slight melody change uh, at the end of it. So. Just so that we're clear and there's no misunderstandings, when you do this, once again, you learn the entire song from top to bottom and then start to move it around in all 12 keys. Yep. <laughs> I'm using this Ray Robinson cut mute. Oh yeah, don't sleep. This mute is nice, man. Look at it. It's seen some things in its lifetime. I got it on eBay years ago. It's kind of expensive. But it's nice. Let's keep it popping. Let's go down to concert E. Written F sharp. Before I forget, subscribe, please subscribe, subscribe, please subscribe. Before we continue with the fest, let me be formal, as formal as I can be. Before we continue with the festivities, it would be utterly rude of me not to share with you the instrument that I'm presenting this presentation to you with. <laughs> this is the Solo Max by Lotus. Are you hearing me? This is the Lotus Solo Max. Let me take you through it. Yeah. Copper bell. Copper bell. Bronze bell flare. Bronze bell flare. Bronze receiver. Nickel silver lead pipe. Nickel silver lead pipe. We got a brass tuning slide. The valve block, nickel silver up here, bronze here. Pretty, pretty. Bonita preciosa. For my Spanish speaking friends, valve tops. It's a fantastic horn. I've been using it on many of my recent videos. Yes, Lotus. Keep up the great work, man. You guys are doing fantastic work over there. I'm very proud of you. DB, all things brass, brass technology. Sending love and respect. The mouthpiece. Is the unity. The Monet unity. B six M. It's good gear, man. You know, I usually play a Bach eight B. 
So the 6 BM is good for me, DB, in the place to be always coming faithfully straight down the middle. You haven't heard that in a while, so I had to remind you because cats forget. Mm, straight. <laughs> yeah, dang. Yeah, man. The Unity B6M, man, it's a hell of a mouthpiece. Yeah. If you're on the fence on getting one, get all aboard. What was that? Get all aboard. Join me. <laughs> yeah, they get them on that, man. Unity mouthpiece is killing. I love it. And I have videos on it. You can go check it out. That's it. Let's keep it popping. Let's go down to concert E flat written F. Okay, well, that's pretty much it. Just keep on going through all the keys, all 12 keys. You know, do one key, the, of course, the original key, and learn that to the best of your ability. Once you feel comfortable and you got that key, move down or move up, whichever way. Just go in half steps and go through all 12 keys. And that's the beginning of key learning. Because, you know, it all starts with a beautiful melody. You know, so in regards to improvisation, real quick, always learn the melody first. Because you could solo, you may not know the chord changes, but if you know that melody, you can get down without even knowing the chord changes just by embellishing the melody. That's some of the most prettiest solos I've heard when cats just finesse the melody. Second, learn the harmonic progression by memory. And that's all I'll say for now because this is a whole nother video. <laughs> yeah, Nick, I gotta save it. So anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. This was a fun video to make. If you like the content that me, DB, that I bring to all things brass and technology, please subscribe to the channel. Tell some friends. Click on the notification bell. And that will let you know every time... I release a new video. This is a joy to entertain you. It's a joy to bring you some information. And I'm so glad that if you watch this video, that you are here with me. Thank you so much. See you soon.